When he is released from Riverview, who's to say what he will do? Questions from the family of Paula Nuttall today as accused murderer Paul Orchard is sentenced in the rape and murder of his mother-in-law. I have no choice but to find him not criminally responsible by reason of insanity. Orchard sat expressionless through the proceedings, a forensic psychologist explaining the results of his mental exam. Mr. Orchard had a long-standing diagnosis of bipolar disorder with psychotic features. The entire report revealed a history of substance abuse and the effect of fetal alcohol syndrome, leading the judge to make his ruling, the family reacting during impact statements. It still makes me stick, sick to my stomach to think that the state will be working to rehabilitate him, to provide him with a second chance at life when none of us have that chance and Paula didn't have that chance. They say they want to use the memory of Paula to help change the laws in the state that would allow Orchard to one day go free. We encourage people to reach out to us that have had similar situations where their family was affected by this law and they got no justice. It would be a step-by-step -step process for his eventual release from Riverview if that were to happen. And the family says they hope to get help from legislators to make sure that it doesn't. In Oxford County, Kyle Jones, WMTW News 8.